there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we continue our Let's Play. This is episode 154. In today's episode, we are taking a look at a new category. We, uh, last time on this series, which was a long time ago, ended up clearing out all of the region-specific events, which is good. So Ooh. European, Asian, North American, loads of ticks in all those, which means we can progress on to the next part of the game, which is... Well, actually the second part of it, because this is split into two parts. So, essentially, how it works is they have these sort of semi-pro events, which are basically what we found in Forza 3 for a lot of the semi-pro stuff. Certain car type, place that it was from, even though we've done a load of region-specific events, and then there's a world tour at the end. And then there's a bunch of fun events on, on this side, which is all the stuff that's unique to this game. So we get, like, mountain passes, and speedway events, and bowling. Now, when we did this in Forza 3, we didn't different... I, I essentially played through the entire semi-pro thing all in one go, and that was really, really, really boring. So this yes. time around, how we're working is we're going to do some semi-pro, we're going to complete a list of semi-pro, and then we're going to move on to fun events. So you get boring for 10 episodes, and then fun, and then boring, fun, boring, get what I mean? Good. But this first yes. this first one isn't boring because it's body type events, and that means it's the city car open. And for the city car <laughs> open, we go with the greatest city car ever built, the 2011 Aston Martin Signet. Happy New yes. Year, uh, uh, Fazzini. <laughs> Oh my god, the colours. Mm. Oh. Oh my god. I, 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 I'm oh my feeling god. I'm feeling piss beige. Mm. Yeah, piss beige suits this car. <laughs> I am feeling piss beige. It really looks like a Ford KA from the front. Anyways. It, it really does. Yes. Just right. me. Signet stuff. Um We can turbocharge it. Who turbocharges um, an Aston Martin, though? Um, mm. It's actually... The Signet was actually based off the Toyota IQ. No, no, it wasn't based off the Toyota IQ. It was a Toyota IQ. Oh, yeah, it was a Toyota IQ, just with, uh, you know, um, Aston Martin styling. So, yes. Though, you can actually say that the anyway. front end is more like a squished Ford Mondeo. It kind of is. We need a rorty exhaust on this. I want to hear that. Oh my god, the wing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> the, the wing is something. <laughs> I oh, hope this doesn't go to a track to... where it can fall over. Oh god. I also what, think you mean... IRL, these were all CVT, so this might be a CVT. We'll find out. Anyways. Mm. Uh, do, 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 do. City Car Open, a light-hearted event for these marvels of miniaturization. That's one of my favorite descriptions so far. Ladera Short is first. Totally not a smart 4 2. That comes later. Don't worry. Oh, dear God, yes. I've reached peak stupid car choices. Auto Union V16 for the historic racing series in GC6. <laughs> Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> Always, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, huh? It's literally, right, literally the way I think about this now is it's like the three ways you die. You have Rhino who does things logically, and then you have me who goes for the quirkiest choices you can. And then Chicane goes for the completely irrational choice, which makes no yeah, sense whatsoever. Yeah, throws logic out the window as you're speeding down the Autobahn at probably 200 mile per hour. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> Wow! Speed! <laughs> I haven't played this game in months, so this should be interesting. Okay, um, it's not CBT. Question? Yes? Why is the air conditioning unit working as a trip computer? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why has he got a lap timer? Um... Did... <laughs> <laughs> Did Aston Martin seriously consider making a track version of this? I don't... At some point? No, I mean, the, the rev counter's also interesting. And the Vauxhall Agelia fighting a Peugeot is the reason we love this game. Mm. 
I mean, it's very um, small feeling. It actually grips fairly well. And actually, mm. if you want a fun little fact about the Aston Martin Signet, it's the only Aston Martin that I've ever seen that doesn't depreciate. Yeah, it's the... Well, I think it... I they believe were 30, it has gone up in price. Yeah, they were like 30 grand when they came out, and they're still 30 grand today with like 40,000 miles on them. I've seen one IRL, and I've freaked the fuck out. Mm. I think I actually freaked the fuck out more at seeing an Aston Martin Signet than I did in seeing like an actual Aston Martin. Yeah, because when you like um, see an Aston Martin, it's like a proper one, say a DB9 or a Vanquish, it's like. Hmm. You kind of see them every now and again, but when no you see the stupid enough to buy a out in the wild, it's like, wow, that is something special. <laughs> yes, it's only a city car, but it's rarer than you know the supercars. So, yeah, someone bought it. Like mm. someone actually bought it. Roman T. I am back ish. Can you add a H to the front of your name so you can become HRT? <laughs> Everyone's favourite <laughs> Formula One team. Um, Vessel and Stroll got a show to the Australian GP in this. Fuck yeah. Yes. Correction, the Austrian GP because it will get cancelled. Haha. <laughs> um. Probably. <laughs> you know, it just makes me question. You know. What would a Ferrari city car look Ooh. like? Now, Aston Martin teamed up with Toyota, which is incredibly strange. Ferrari, I, I mean, logically, it'd be a Fiat Panda with a Ferrari badge on it. Well, either a Fiat Panda or a Fiat 500. Yeah, but if we're going to be stupid, then it would be a... Ooh. Hmm... That's a good question. Who did the Italians go to war with? Oh, that's a good question. Um... Do we build anything here anymore? <laughs> Not really. It'd be a city rover. It's the oh, club, race. club. Bro, my favourite team is USF1. Nah, I'm more for... Uh, what was that fucking crowdfunded one called? MyF1team.com if you remember that. Oh, God. I honestly don't. Yeah, they we're going to have a crowdfunded F1 team. Yeah, that probably won't as well. <laughs> well, I think Bernie took one look Bernie. at it and said, uh... <laughs> US F1 is better than Hass F1. Listen. Hass F1 has Gunter Steiner, so... We all love a bit of the Stein. Yeah, but a we Stein also hate. Stein of the time. Yeah, but we also hate um, who they've kind of got as one of their drivers for 2021. I'm. Yeah, I, I'm trying to just sort of not pay any yeah, attention. Yeah, we're trying to. not to. I, I'm trying uh, not to pay. No, no, I'm like. I. I'll let the guy prove himself. I mean. <laughs> yeah, but only a. Um, Amount of time because well, he's not Andrea Moda, is he? At least he's not trying he's, to kill yeah, like Andrea, Perry McCarthy. Yeah, Andrea Moda, you know, <laughs> literally trying to kill one of your drivers and to make listen, the other, you know, actually gain the race. Listen, I mean, let's be honest if fucking what's Nikita's dad called? Oh, fucking, I don't know. Pastor Mazepin, right? If Pastor Mazepin mm. starts yeah. trying to murder Mick Schumacher, then sure. <laughs> or Fittipaldi, I don't know. Um, you know, to be honest with you, you know a driver must be hated when they're all wanting Petro Fittipaldi, who was horrifically off the pace <laughs> of everyone around him this year. Like, in those final two races, he was bad. Mm. Fucking the My F1 Dream Team, that was it. Uh, my favourite racing team is Ferrari. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're sorry for uh, this season. 
this uh, season gone past if you're a Ferrari fan. Imagine <laughs> having Charles Leclerc, the man who's probably going to be their next world champion, dressed as a banana being more iconic than anything they did on track this year. Anything. Yes. Well, with the exception of, you know, Turkey, but then again... Um, the whole race basically overshot. No, he was good in there, Turkey. Uh, well, no, I mean, I mean, it wasn't a good performance. I mean, he, 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 <laughs> it would have been good. <laughs> and then he did mm. what I do and fucks it up. Uh, thank you very much for the happy Christmas and New Year's and stuff. Yes, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and hope you all have a wonderful New Year. Although, if you sat watching this stream, chances are you're not having a very good New Year. Well, that's fine because you know, <laughs> mm. such is the way of life. Anyways, Austria, yeah, Austria was it? Charles been like overdriving the shit out of that car. Didn't he end up finishing like fifth or something in the championship? Uh, it was fourth at Turkey. Um, it would have been second. If no, I mean like in his championship. Where is he? Oh, uh, he was like fifth or sixth or something, which in that Ferrari is insane. <laughs> Insane Hang in on. the membrane. Standings. Uh, I mean, again, Mazepin, you gotta let him sort of prove himself on track. Mazepin's had flashes of being a good driver. Um, this season he finished eighth. Oh, really? How far was he behind fifth? Because fifth was Danny fifth, Rick. Fifth, we're looking at um, 21 points. Fifth See, was Daniel, not... Danny Rick. So that's not massively. If Ferrari gets yeah, their act together, he'll probably be... Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, if Ferrari gets his act together, he'll probably be good. Yeah, Vettel fucking bless. 33 points! <laughs> I'm calling it. I think Vettel's going to do really badly next year. I think this well, is a slump. Well, and I think... Martin. Yeah, I think this is a slump and I don't think he's getting out of it. I think this is his swan... <laughs> this, is, this is the way... This is the way it ends. <laughs> yeah. I need to play I mean, Horizon 4 for the Jesco. I haven't played much of it, though. Nick Hamilton oh to Haas when. <laughs> Nick and Lewis F1 oh team. God. Fuck yeah. No, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe Hamilton will try and get him into... Um, what's it called? What are they calling that new series? X44 or some shit? <sighs> Because Sebastian Loeb's just signed to do that, hasn't he? That Dakar Electric Series, whatever it is. Extreme E, I can't remember. Oh. Yeah, Extreme E. Coffee. Anyways. Hyundai. 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 Hyundai kid. Um, we don't... I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if he was on the grid. Um, I haven't heard anything. The BTCC news is still sort of coming out. I don't think they really confirm anything until like literally about two weeks in advance. So we'll find out where like most people are heading mm. from there. Mind you, we've heard a decent amount. We know Ash Sutton's staying with Infinity, although apparently he uh, there's a rumor that they wanted him to join BMW, which would have been yeah interesting. Well, it would have been him and Turkington. So you have full time. Oh. Ch- yeah, exactly. It's just fucking. <laughs> that. Uh, if you don't watch BTCC, let's put it this way. That is a bit like in 2016. No, in 2017, them replacing Nico Rosberg with Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> <laughs> so you would have had a Lewis. It's a bit like that. No one else is really winning. <laughs> Who else was good in 2018 for F1? Ricardo. Yeah, that was about yeah, it. Yeah, Danny it? Rick. Because Verstappen was too busy crashing into things. Yeah, at the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Verstappen's only really come good in the last two years or so. I mean, he's quick, he's just Mazapins. So. <laughs> See, that's the funny thing. I wonder if those two are going to clash heads or get along, because him and Mazepin aren't actually that dissimilar when you think about it. Obviously, Max doesn't um, assault women, but, like, 
in terms well, of both being young guns who don't really have filters in any way. It's own well, it's only going to be a matter of time, I see. I think it's going to be a case of the first time those two get <laughs> tangled up. Ended up, ended up retiring each other from the race, and they're uh, right next. They get out right next to each other. It's going to be a case of you know keep the helmets on yeah. and just pray and just wait until the uh, fists start flying. You know. Yeah. So <laughs> just like, please, no, Max, stop hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> and Gunvestein is just like, yeah, keep fucking head in. <laughs> Gave his fucking head in. Meanwhile, Daddy Mazepin's on the phone like, KGB, yo, this guy ever comes back to Sochi. <laughs> <laughs> How was the Seto Corsa racing? Uh, I'm getting into my sim stuff. For Seto Corsa, I mainly drive the F1 cars in because they're the only things I can really get to grips with because it's like... The problem I have with a Seto Corsa is I don't like driving the road cars because they've got not enough grip. And that game's really fucking it like it wants you to drive the cars as you would and my brain isn't quite wired up enough to blip for downshifts and shit like that. I can't do any of that stuff yet. So I mainly stick to driving the F1 cars, which is hilarious fun. The Ferrari F two thousand four in that game is fantastic fun. <laughs> like bombing that around Monza's grey. I love the feedback that car gives. I need to try some of the other mods that I've got for it as well. But it's like, if I want touring cars, I can just go play Race Room. Race Room's probably still my favourite sim of all of them that I've played so far. R Factor 2 is a bit weird, but I like it because it's got 1996 cars from Formula 1. ACC? Yeah, I need to get into ACC. Again, it's sort of... The learning curve on that one's a bit steep, but... Yeah, I need to get the DLC for it, really, so I can actually have some good tracks to play with. But, yeah, no, if you ever want a bit of a laugh, the F1 cars on a set of goals are a great fun. <laughs> like, the, you know the 2000s ones when they had traction control? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the other ones, not so much. I've driven the 2012 cars and they're not quite as fun because they're just death machines. But the 2004 ones with like 950 horsepower, they're good fun. <laughs> It's also nice driving the, uh, apparently the car that I used to worship as a kid, the fucking BMW Williams. Hmm. And then you'd find out that team was a bit shit. For reasons that were kind of half and half's fault. Williams yeah. really died when Nui left. That's probably... Then yeah. again, they sort of came good in, like, because they, weren't they, like, third in the Constructors in, like, 2015 or something? Yeah. When they had the... Uh, I can't remember who the team would have been back there. It would have been Bottas and... Uh, well, it was Maldonado for 2013, wasn't it? I don't yeah. know. Who was it? Um, who was it Williams in 2014? It was... Was I it Lincoln? No? No, it was Bottas and Massa, I believe. Oh, yes. I forget Felipe Massa exists. Uh, team Hard has upgraded, quote unquote, to the Seat Coopers. <laughs> Best engine with a chassis designed by a five year old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a shame how that all worked out. Because that could have been a really good team, but it wasn't. And then BMW Sauber happened, and BMW. Okay, stay at. To be honest with you, what they really should have done is uh, should have just gone in with Sauber straight away. Because mm. the Sauber and the Williams were probably comparable on like which is a better car, but by 2006, if, like Mercedes had caught up to the BMW engines, so they weren't really getting much. Mind you, Kubica got a pole for them, didn't he? Um, I think so. Yeah, he like. Won a race, I think, for the end of yeah. Sauber. Back when Kubica was good and had two working arms. <laughs> yeah, until, um, yeah. You know, That's such a tragedy, was, man. Yeah, I mean, first it was his crash at um, Montreal that um, 
you know. Yeah, that put him out for a while. Uh, commission temporarily. That was a fucking scary crash, by the way. Fucking hell. Well, there was there was quite a few of those in the late 2000s. I mean, Massa almost died at one point, didn't he? Oh, fucking hell, yeah. But that that <laughs> wasn't a... Um, that wasn't a driver error, right? And that was basically um, a suspension bearing, literally flying off her car and hitting Felipe in the head at, um, I Jesus. think it was 140 mile per hour. Um, coming out of coming into turn four Jeez. for um, the Hungara ring. I mean, yo, when when you saw paramedics literally having to lift him out of the um, car and, you know, carefully, you know, assist him into the medical shop, it was like, you know, He's he's lucky to have survived, let alone be able to get back into a race car. Mm. Um, What's your expectations for the twenty? Uh, what do you mean by expectations of twenty twenty one? I mean, I got to be more specific on that one. I'm afraid. Yeah. Um. I mean. <laughs> Who's this guy? Sounding like? <laughs> he sounds like a nerd. <laughs> I like how <laughs> nerds capitalize, so it's like the fucking. What was that fucking group called? Oh, Nerd. Shopping. You can't be me, I'm a rock star. I'm riding on top of a cop car. <laughs> it's almost over now. I like the dog picture, by the way. I'm not need. I swear. Hey, guys. <laughs> so. I'll tell you how to get girls. Massa post crash was terrible. You see, that's the yeah. thing actually with what you're saying about Kubica in 2012 going to Ferrari. Who, uh, uh, Ferrari was like Alonso Massa back then, wasn't it? Like, who seat? Yeah. Alonso would have not taken a guy of Kubica's level going into that first seat. We've already seen him throw piss fits when Massa was ahead of him. I mean, come on. Literally, Ocon's entire career for now is, I am going to be faster than Ocon. <laughs> Get him to pull over. Yes. Um, Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on now, I've got to cover myself. Yes, slash, no, slash, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I don't think Alonso would have allowed fucking Kubica into, uh, I keep saying Kubica because it's funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would have wanted Kubica to uh, be yep. next to it. Nah, I thought that. Then again, I mean, the problem is when you look at Ferraris, it's like everyone gets linked to Ferrari who has accidents. It's like when they were sat there with, um, fucking hell, what was the name of that kid that died? Bianchi. <sighs> You know, oh, Bianchi would have been at Ferrari, would he have? I mean, we don't know. English motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> okay, that goofy. I like how he calls you a nerd and then proceeds to speak fucking weeb. I <laughs> 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 speak a... Bobby yeah, pillow. I can, I can speak the <laughs> anime language. Yeah. Anime I language. <laughs> I am the language of I anime. I took the virtual wipers. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> the sort of man that you need to wash his sheets twice. Oh, God. And across the line for the mighty Aston Martin segment. Never got to see him drive a car that wasn't a shit box. Yeah. Mm. I watched that accident, but, by the way. That was fucking... I don't get how that... I, I don't get anything about how that accident even happened. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next, I'm going to be taking a look at the Economy Car Open. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. I'm
Mystery. 